Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5062663 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update. Over here you can see Pause Update. Click on Pause. And once the update is paused, this process may take some time. Once it is paused, now hit Resume Updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start App Readiness Service. Type in Services in Windows Search Box and then click on Services and find app readiness in the list make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then try to update your windows 11 still not working the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this you can go to windows settings go to system and then go to troubleshoot and then click on other troubleshooters and then click on run and once you click on run, just follow the on-screen instruction on this page and then run the update troubleshooter. Still not working. The next step is to restart Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Now for this, type in Services in Windows Search Box. Click on Services. Now find Windows Update in the list. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set this to Automatic. Click on Apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on, click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart. Now once done, uh, scroll up and then find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply and then click on start if highlighted. Now you can try to update your Windows 11. Still not working. The next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. So open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And if there is any update, you will see update now option or install option. Install it and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this, open this link. The link is provided in the video description over here write down the na name of the update that is KB5062663 and then okay and then hit search now over here for me it's Windows 11 version 23H2X64 uh, base system uh, you can check what kind of system you have so you can go to Windows settings then go to system go to about and check what kind of system you have for me it's x64 so here you can see windows 11 version 23h2 x64 now click on download and then click on this file and once this is done you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and then check still not working Now, the next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. Now, for this, uh, no. The next step is to reset Windows Update components. Now, for this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So, copy the command till here. And then, open Notepad in computer. Paste all the command over here go to file save as you can set the location as desktop name this file as wufix.bat for save as type select all files now click on save now go to desktop here you can see wufix file make a right click and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this file as an administrator click on yes to allow click on uh, type in y for yes to continue now first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are there are a uh, few scans maybe four or five scans here you can see there are so many scans now it will run those scans now the scan process will take some time and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and then you can check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update option now for this go to windows update go to 
advanced option over here scroll down click on recovery over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done you can check if nothing is working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this open this link in a browser it will take you to again the same website microsoft website here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file you have to click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next set the location as desktop click on save let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish and let it close automatically and then go to window uh, desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click you will see the setup file make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next over here and then accept and then ready to install by default the option to keep personal files in app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then click on install and this process will take some time and after the installation you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel